This video looks at what we should do when we are asked to simplify. And what that means is that we combine those terms that we can combine. And how might we do this? Well, we've got four processes at years 9 and 10. We can add terms, subtract them, multiply or divide. So we add the numbers, don't change the variables, subtract the numbers, don't change the variables. See a couple of instances of that. We've added 5 and 11 to get 16, and the x's have stayed the same. 8 minus 2 is 6, and the xy's have stayed the same. Also, we can multiply. When we multiply the variables, we add the powers. When we divide the numbers and subtract the powers, it's the opposite. So let's see how that goes in practice. Well, x squared times 3x is 3 times 1 is 3 and x squared plus x1 is x3 and then generally not too important at year 9 the 12 divided by 6 is 2 and one of these x's cancels one of these leaving x over okay so what do we have to watch for when we do that well the first thing to remember is that all the processes we are doing are with numbers because variables are still numbers and the rules don't change just because it's algebra. First, most important, is that bed mass always applies. So when we have an expression like this with an addition and a multiplication, we do the multiplication first. 3x plus 6 is 18x and only then can we add on the 4x. Bed mass also says we do brackets before anything else. So we expand the brackets before we add on the 4x. Also keep in mind, subtractions apply only to the next term. So when we have a string like that, only the 3 is being subtracted. 4 minus 3 is 1, plus 6 is 7, all of them are x terms, and it's just the same as 4 minus 3 plus 6. Only time that's not true is when brackets are used because if we have a minus followed by a bracket that tells us that the minus goes into both terms of the brackets. Generally not much of an issue at years 9 and 10. And thirdly, have to really watch for double negatives when multiplying and that's usually at merit level um, one of the key things that trips people up. So when we have a negative outside the brackets times a negative inside it yields a positive term minus 3 times x is minus 3x minus 3 times minus 6 is plus 18 well that's all there is to simplifying let's practice doing a few make sure we know how it works in practice so here's some examples let's work our way through them first one four terms, two of them are x terms, two of them are not, so we add the x terms and we add the non-x terms, minus 6 in this case, and then we stop because that's all we can do, we cannot add 11x to 10. Question 2, well we've got brackets, bed mass says we get rid of brackets first, so let's expand the brackets. First bracket, second bracket, now we have some string of terms, in fact it's exactly the same string of terms as in question 1. So we add the x terms and we take away 6 from 16 in the number terms and we have 11x plus 10. And the third one, look at it, there's a multiplication in there. So we do that multiplication first. 8x times 2 is 16x. Then we have x terms and a number term, well we add the x terms and we leave the number term all by itself. And the last one, again there's a multiplication in there, so this time we have to be really careful. We do the multiplication first, 4x times 3 is 12x, that minus is still there. So now we have 9x minus 12x and 20x. And that means it's minus 12 and 20 is 8, and the 9 is a different term 
it's left by itself. Now some slightly harder ones getting through to the higher end of merit basically brackets that's usually how it goes. In each of these cases we need to expand the brackets it's the first step but we have to be extremely careful to remember that the negatives follow the number that goes after it. So in this case the negative 6 is multiplying in to the x and the 2. 4x, 4 times 2 is 8, negative 6 times x is negative 6x, negative 6 times 2 is negative 12, and then we add the like terms. Second one, pretty much the same, except this time we've got to watch that we've got a minus 5, and there's a negative inside that second bracket. So, 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 2 is 6. Minus 5 times x is minus 5x. Minus 5 times minus 4 is plus 20. So that's the double negative we have to watch. Minus 5 times minus 4 is plus 20. And then we add the like terms. In this case, 3x minus 5x is a negative number because 5 is bigger than 3. Question 7. Expand the brackets, front bracket in blue, back bracket in green, and we note that this term, we have some like terms, but they're the middle terms. The x squared stays by itself, the minus 14 stays by itself, and the two x's add to give us 4x. And last one, expand the brackets. As we have each time because bed mass says we do brackets first 2x times x is 2x squared 2x times 2 is 4x x times x is x squared x times minus k is minus xk and then we add the like terms we can add this x squared and this x squared to give us three of them the 4x and the minus kx stay as they are they're not like the other terms so there we have it Simplifying is merely the process of adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing, but we have to remember, always apply for bed mass, only subtract the following term, watch for double negatives, and don't attempt to add or subtract unlike terms.